the shoulders and you will stretch every time at the end again. Each step, each workout throughout this series is very, very important and it all builds upon itself. So again, remember to start slow, do the range of motion that fits best for you, but most importantly, let's have fun and let's get started. Now, we're gonna crisscross those arms right out in front. Again, we're gonna alternate one arm on top of the other. Again, this isn't the normal crisscross that we do, but our hands, our fingers are pointed right down at the ground and we just kind of crisscross here from side to side. This really helps to warm up those shoulders and we'll go three and two and one. And now when you crisscross, I want you to bring your arms a little bit higher. We're gonna bend more at our elbows. Again, one arm on top each time and we kind of lift up and curl that arm instead of just kind of letting it dangle and we'll go three and two. Good work. One. Drop your shoulders right to the side. Let's kind of loosen them up here and we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Let's move right into some nice shoulder shrugs. Again, just straight on up, getting the blood flowing through those shoulders and we'll go three, two, one, and now I want you to bring your arms around this way, a nice roll, and roll it back the other way. Again, take your time. Again, bring it up and roll. Bring it back through and roll. Again, bring it up and roll, and bring it back through and roll. Let's do that three more times. Up and back, and up and forward. Excellent job, up and back and up and forward, good work. You can lift your arms up a little bit on this last one here, again, up and forward. Excellent job. Now, let's just start swinging these arms. Again, we're not going too high, we're just working on that range of motion here. So let's swing it for three and two. Keep your arms straight, one. Excellent job. Now bring it up to here, hold it there or as high as you can, whichever point is comfortable. Just hold it there for three, two, one, and excellent job with that. Now bring your arm right like this. Keep your elbow tucked in right next to your side. Close your fist. We are going to swivel this. We're going to go like this for about 30 seconds. Now, we are going to switch arms throughout this. And no matter if you have one side that's worse than the other, work on both sides. There's something called cross education that will actually transfer extra strength from your good side over to your bad side. So don't ever forget to do the opposite side. Never work the bad side more than once. Just follow along and do exactly what I do. That's very, very important in here. And we're gonna go 10. Again, just swivel. Keep your elbow tight. We got seven, six, five. This is a big exercise for the rotator cuff. We got three. Then our straight two. And one, excellent job, bring that arm down. Other arm is up at this nice 90 degree. Tuck it in tight, close your fist. We got 30 seconds here. Now, you might notice that one side has a little bit more range of motion than the other. That is pretty normal, especially if you have a hurt shoulder. Again, try to tuck this in. And if it hurts when you go out too far or in too far, just do what you can. This is strengthening those muscles that help support the rotator cuff here. So we got 10, nine, keep that arm at that nice angle and we'll go seven, six, keep it tucked in, five, four, good work, three, two, one, excellent job with that. Now bring your arms right like this. We're gonna raise this arm up to the side six times. So raise it up and down again bring it up as high as you are comfortable again we'll go up and down again excellent job bringing it up and down again we're working this range of motion this should be slow and controlled we got two more bringing it up and down excellent job one more time up now hold it right there let's just slightly pulse that arm for three two one and bring that arm on down. Now keeping your thumb pointed up, we're gonna go over our head or as high as we can. So I want you to extend this arm as high as you can. If you get it all the way up to here, extend it up to the ceiling and bring it back down. We got five more of those. Bring that arm up as high as you can. Again, if you can 
can only bring it up to here. Extend it outward and stretch out that shoulder, but raise it as high as you can and extend and bring it down. Excellent job. Always extending in the furthest position you can get to. That will increase that range of motion and extend and bring it back down. Excellent job. Three more. Bringing it up as high as you can and extend that arm and bring it back down. Two more. Bringing it up and extend it up high. Reach for the ceiling and bring it back down. That arm might be getting a little tired. Let's do it one more time. Bringing it up. Extend and release again. Excellent job with that arm. Kind of shake it out a little bit, but let's do the same thing right over here. We got six raises, so we're gonna bring it up. Again, working on that range here and down, bringing it up. And down, excellent work, bringing it up. And down, keep going, bringing it up. And down, two more, and we will hold it on the last one. And down, last one, again, bring it up. Hold it there, slight little pulse for three, two, one. Arm is down, thumb is up, going up above our head and extending. So raise it as high as you can and extend and stretch. Release back down. Again, no matter how far you get up, extend that arm as far as you can and bring it down again as far as you can go without pain here, bringing it up and extend and bring it down. We got three more, continuing to work that opposite arm here, up, extend that arm, bringing it down, excellent job. Take a deep breath in here, extend that arm and exhale, good work. One more time here, bring it up, inhale, Extend that arm and exhale, bringing it down again. Excellent job. Now bring both arms up just like this. Keep those arms pressed in at the elbows to your sides. Bring your hands together. Bring it out to straight. 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 Now bring it together. Push your hands together and pinch your shoulder blades. Again, feel those upper back muscles working and release, open up. Two more with that push, bring it together. Push your hands together. Squeeze your upper back and your shoulders. Squeeze that body and release. One more time, bring it together. Push and squeeze, this is important here. In three, two, one, excellent job. Bring your arms on down. Right from here, both arms up to the side five times. So let's raise them on up, bring it on down. Raise it on up, bring it on down. Three more, and we'll go up and down. Excellent work, bringing it up and down. And last one here, bringing it up and down. An excellent job with that. Now I want you to grab onto your chair. You're gonna need your chair because we will do this exercise throughout this series. This improves overall strength and range of motion. Now, with your chair, you're gonna be a couple feet away just so your hand can touch this chair because we're gonna apply pressure downwards. So with this chair, I want you to push against it for three, two, one, and release. Again, excellent job. Again, we're Pushing, let's push for three, two, one. Excellent job. Again, you should feel this whole arm tighten up here. Again, let's push for three, two, one. Excellent job. Now, right from there, let's raise that arm up and let's bring it on down and let's push on that chair and release. Raise that arm on up, bring it on down. Push on that chair and release. Raise it up one more time. Bring it on down. Push on that chair for three, two, one. Excellent job with that. Again, that pushing really tightens up this whole muscle and helps to improve range of motion. So we'll keep working on that. Let's switch it to the other side here. Now, arm is right here. Straight arm on this thing. We're gonna push it down for three, two, one. Excellent work.
work and tighten up this whole shoulder and push. Three, two, one, and release. One more time here. Push, tighten up that arm and that shoulder. And three, two, one, release. Now raise that arm up. Bring it on down. Push against that chair for three, two, one. Raise that arm on up. Bring that arm on down again. Push for three, two, one. Excellent job. Raise it on up. One more time. Bring it down. Push for three, two, one. And excellent job with that. Now kind of relax these shoulders here. Just kind of get into a little bit of the swim where you're just kind of rolling your shoulders. And we'll go three, two, one. Other direction. Forward for three, two, one. Let's go with a nice little front crawl here for three, two, one. A back crawl for three, two, one. And bring those arms right here. And let's just fold those arms up again, curling, kind of touching your ear if you can every single time. Opposite ear with that opposite hand here for that range. And we'll go three, two, one. And excellent job with that. Now let's grab onto this arm. Very important stretch here. Pull it across. Turn and look at your fingers here and wiggle those fingers for three, two, one. Excellent job with that. Bring that arm down. Let's bring this arm up, pulling it across, looking towards those fingers, wiggling and feeling that stretch. And we'll go three, two, one. And excellent job with that. Now one very, very important stretch here at the end and it's kind of a range of motion. So get a broad base, use your chair if you have to, kind of let all the weight in the shoulder kind of dangle there, and we are going to spin it around and around, making some nice circles, again, the weight of the hand should be almost just right in those fingertips here, again, always pulling down and swiveling it around and around, and other direction, spin it the other way, Again, this is huge for range of motion. If you've ever been in therapy, this is one exercise that you might do. But again, let's spin it around and we'll go three, two, one. Excellent work, slowly coming back up, gathering yourself. If you need to move the chair to the other side, do so. Otherwise, drop that other arm and let's spin it in a nice little circle here. Again, really loosening everything up. And let all of the weight of that arm just hang right there. And we'll go three, two, one. Other direction. Again, around and around. Again, make those circles count here. And we'll go three, two, one. And again, excellent job with that entire routine. Now, that was meant to build up the rotator cuff muscles, not meant to increase range of motion, but also not to stress your shoulders too much. Again, we never want to jump into shoulders and go too hard.